I'm Joel. I'm Laura. We're the Newly Deads. And uh, welcome to another episode of Sinister Snacks. Are you going away from me? It was, it was, it was sinister sounding. I am sinister. Um, welcome to this brand new camera that we're using on my brand new phone. Thanks to my lovely wife here. Um, so we'll be recording on this from now until something different happens. We're hoping for good things, but this is the official inaugural launch. So, um... It's exciting. It is we'll exciting. see if it works. It is exciting. And we I are, hope it works. I, it's, I mean, it already is working. I've only taken one photo with this so far, and this is the first video. Um, but, uh... You did take a photo. I did. I did you do your selfie? Yep. Yeah. Which you guys will be seeing those soon, because we did a 365-day photo challenge. I did not make it all the way 365 days, but pretty dang close. Yeah, I'm uh, not too far off. I don't know. We may not we may not say how many we missed, but there is some that we both missed, unfortunately. Well, you won't be able to tell, because it's just like a loopy video thing it's that we're going to do. fast, and it's not like we changed a whole heck of a lot. But um, the other thing is, is that we are uh, in preparation for... The Creepmas with Krampus, which by the time you see this video, will have already happened. Oh. Yeah. We are talking to ourselves in the past. In the past. So, good job, us. It was a good good sale. We did a good job. And people bought a couple of things. And we got some good connections. And it was fun. And... We are in the future. We are literally in the future. In the past. So anyway, what right. we got what the, are we doing? Oh, we're, we're actually snacking it up today. We are. We got a two for snack. Um, I made a mistake, and I realized that these had expired in October. I thought I was doing a good job by not yeah. having things expire, yeah. but um, so we have a hers and hers snack, starting with roasted garlic and herb popcorn. Herbs. Yes, I said herbs. Herbs. Herb. When two legendary flavor makers join forces, the result is one epic snacking experience for you. So it's McCormick, actually, Grillmate. So everyone knows the McCormick brand. And it is. Hairs. Hairs. It's uh, two cups for 140 calories, which for most of the snacks we do on this channel, um, that's pretty low, but it is popcorn. It's slightly expired, but not by much. Smells good. We've done worse. Oh, that's got a pretty... Uh, Pretty bold kind of. That smells like garlic. I keep looking the holes over and here. Herbs. I keep looking over there. Garlicky Her herbs. Herb garlic. For anybody who's a WKRP fan, you'll get that joke. All right. We got to cheers before you chew. Cheers before you chew. I'm gonna do one piece first by mm -hmm. itself. Mmm. Two pieces by themselves. Three pieces in a group. If you like garlic. And herbs. You would like this. This is tasty. If anybody gets my herb garlic joke, comment. Um, <clears throat> it reminds me of a little bit. Mm. <clears throat> kind of has a, like a mild stuffing flavor. Yes. I think because of the, the herbs. Like a garlic stuffing. Like if you had stuffing that had herbs and garlic instead of just herbs. That's yeah. the, the flavor I'm getting. That's good. You a fan? Yeah. I wonder... Mm -hmm. Do you think this would work on potato chips? No. Yeah. I feel like the, the popcorn was a good decision on their part. Mm-hmm. Because it does make it taste more like stuffing. Because it's still got... You know, because like stuffing has that soft... Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Put them over there. This... This... Come away. Right here would be something that I would uh, I would definitely eat more of. Mm -hmm. I will um, buy that again if I can find it. Incidentally, are we doing the, the thumbnail thing? Like our like the review bra or anybody? I don't know. Or are we just pulling them randomly? Are you editing this out? I'm just, no, I'm just asking you. Because we don't, we don't edit things out. I mean, maybe one thing here and there, but very seldom. Don't lick her sleeve. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy, but I, I, I got to be that guy because, you know, 
It seems to be the way people watch videos. So, okay, the other one we've got is also Grillmates, McCormick's, mm -hmm. but Montreal, Montreal steak. steak. Now, we recently did another steak video, steak chip video. Yes. And we've talked about the Meyer chips, uh, steak and onion chips, many times. Which they changed their... Incidentally, Myers, why'd you have to go and change it? Now, I, mm. I sent them a strongly worded email did. Uh, on behalf of my whole family because all of us like those chips. And I said... Very, very much. What the heck did you think? And they said it was a corporate decision and they do it often. It was a bad corporate decision. They're going to take it in... Shame. Ding, ding. They're going to take it under advisement for future things that maybe they will change it back, which they probably won't. Out it. But... It's weird, like the best chips ever since Mrs. Fisher's had to go straight, you know, uh, level on the level, clean, whatever verbiage you want to use, adjective. Non-trans fat. They were the next in line to uh, usurp the throne. Now they've got this like, it's got like a barbecue flavor to it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's fine if you like barbecue chips, but like if you want steak and onion chips... Cause those tasted like gr like straight up like grilled steak. It was so good. Um, I have a theory. Do you want to hear my theory? I do. What's your theory? Maybe the steak person, like the the person that, like who was responsible for the steak chip, the steak of the union, got fired or quit and took his secret recipe with him. Then why would it be so similar? Just with a little bit of barbecue flavor. Well, maybe that. By a big steak? By a big steak. No, by... Oh, well, maybe by... I mean, you could have had, like, a cardiac infarction, but I was thinking by, like, by big steak. You know, like, they are overstimulated. But these are the... the we've tried one of their steak they chips. They don't smell like steak. Sorry, my nose is really itchy. Um, Cheers. Yours has got a lot of so sauce. A lot of seasoning. Seasoning. I have a feeling that when it says Montreal steak, it's referring to the seasoning and not that it's supposed to taste But like it says, the bold combination of grilled peppers and garlic on fire-grilled steak is perfectly delivered on our classic ripple chip. If you love the savory, unique taste of Grillmates Montreal steak, then you will love our Has Montreal steak Has. seasoned potato chips. So, we've already cheered. Chewed. Now we got to chew, right? That did not have a lot of seasoning on it. Looked like it did. It was just a brown chip. <laughs> it has that, just a discolored that brown chip. chip flavor. Sometimes the foldies have more. Mm -hmm. Foldies. It's what's for dinner. That is a foldy. Do you like the foldies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is not a steak chip. I'm just going to say it. Still at all, you know, steak chip. Everything will be compared to the Meyer steak chip because those legitimately taste like... Like steak and onion. Steak and onion. My, both my kids liked it. We both liked it. The bags never lasted more than a day or two. The bag we had, the last bag, is still in there. I've been there for like a week. Look at this. Or two. Yeah, I got a peanut. Woo! <laughs> I got a peanut allergy. Achoo! You're a strange man, but I love you. Hmm. <laughs> None of them look like they're very seasoned. They aren't. I want to be assaulted. They're disappointing. They're an okay chip. I'm going to try one more. Hold on. Yeah. They're like, um, what is that brand with the big fat? Ruffles, okay. like, you know, big fat, regular, like the normal ass brand. It's not Ruffles. No. Those are really tight, super salty. Yeah, like not Lay's. Lay's. Um, Maybe it is, is it? Lay's. Maybe it's Lay's Ruffles? <laughs> Wait, well, Ruffles? That's the same <laughs> thing. I'm going to try feeding it to Juliana. Here, Juliana, you eat it. Blood! She doesn't, she doesn't even want to eat it. The reason I said blood is because it actually says blood on her shirt. <laughs> That's the name of the album. Mm. But you can see the poster behind us sometimes, depending on our angle. I'm going to open soda. 
with one hand. All right. He's singing, singing to my weird. No, it's dancing to your song. So here's or the thing. Dan dancing to my weird, singing. Here's the thing with this. Does it taste like steak? No. No. Does it taste like Montreal? No. No. I've licked the the, the uh, concrete streets of Montreal. It does not taste like this. Um, but is it a bad chip? No. Correct. It's it's a it's a decent chip with a. It is a nondescript flavor. Mediocre, yeah. Just that's the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. Little salty. Kind of like maybe salt and pepper chip. Yeah. So like if you were sitting there watching a movie. The TV's behind us here. So the, we're watching a movie over there, and we're sitting here, and I'm like, hey, let's grab a bag of chips, and we were eating it. Perfectly fine. Yeah. They'd be good with like a... Like a... Like a, like a French onion dip. Yeah. Yeah. Like like a Dean's, some sort of... Dean's is made here, so... Uh, some sort of a Dean's flavored dip. French like onion. A, yeah, like a creamy dip. Yep. Would be on point. Good stuff. And then this bad boy, this all by itself... All with day. a movie again, and we're gonna be watching a movie tomorrow. We're gonna be doing uh, an upcoming episode for the show that we'll talk about when it happens. But we're doing a movie show soon, and who knows? Maybe we'll be eating those while we're watching. But uh, so it's time to rate, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna yeah, we're doing them separate. I'll right? Let you, I'll let you decide. Cause yeah, it's for the brand, roasted but... garlic herb. So my favorite bagged popcorn right now is that, the yeah, the, the one that's in the other room, and I can't remember the name of the brand now. Buddha Pop? Smart Pop? No, I can't it's check like... check my phone, because yeah. my phone's right there. It's like, uh, yeah, anyways, it's like a... It's got Buddha on it, on the, I mean, it's got like... It's like popcorn. living something, yeah. Smart, right. Healthy. There's no smart in it, I don't think. But uh, it's just like a really... Ugh, so good. It's like a healthy like, salted, bag. yeah. Like, um, and then they like it's air popped or whatever, and then yeah. they like kind of coat it a little bit in like some coconut oil. Like they toss it in coconut. It's that, just it's that's so the Himalayan good. pink salt. Yes, Himalayan pink salt. That that is the but flavor. That's not the brain. It's just the flavor. Correct. So that's like the best popcorn on the planet. Although I feel like it's the big bag of popcorn that you get at Woodman's that I can't move the manufacturers. And I I disagree with you. That's the stuff that we had for our wedding. Well, but it it had been sitting out. If you have it fresh out of the bag and you just put your face in the bag and you go, blah, 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 it's delicious. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> it does go agree. Ahead. I just feel like the stuff that I eat is like it tastes fresh, even mm -hmm. though it's not. So, the popcorn kernels themselves don't taste fresh. They taste like they're like old pop popcorn mm -hmm. for this hairs stuff. But hairs. the flavor of it, it tastes like a normal bagged popcorn. It doesn't taste like. The one that I, I told you was my favorite. Right. Um, but I love the seasoning on it. So out of 10, I would give it uh, like a 7. 7 out of 10 for the garlic popcorn. Yeah. Garlic. Yeah. That's Montreal steak. Roast, roasted garlic and herb. And while he is talking, um, I'm going to look up the brand. <laughs> for for me... Um, I have it saved in my... I mean, I'm not a big bag popcorn guy to begin with. If it's not fresh or it's not at the movie theater, which is typically pretty fresh, um, I won't won't go out of my way to eat it, um, except for the one brand that I forgot the name of that we had at our wedding. And then I would eat this if it was here. Called Lesser Evil. Oh, and I like the stuff she's talking about. Uh, I've had both the, the cheddar, white cheddar, or cheese. And it actually is like cheeseless cheese popcorn. Yeah. There's no cheese in it. And then the Himalayan pink salt, which I like. I enjoy both of them. They're both good. Anyway, um, that being said, I would say I give it a six. I was debating a six and a half. I'm going to stick with a six. Yeah. Because I don't know if if I would buy it intentionally, but if it was out, I would eat it. So it's more than better than average. Anyway, I usually like to eat popcorn for like a, a healthier snack mm -hmm. um, because you can have two cups of it, right? And like eat one at a time uh, and it's only 140 calories. Um, my stuff that I eat, I, you can have three, I think it's three cups and it's, it's like 150 calories. So again, I, if I was going to choose a bagged popcorn, I'd probably do the lesser evil. What were you just doing? Well, I was doing a, 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 a thing and turned into the hand drive and then turned into the... Um, Riding uh, the horse. The Gangnam, Gangnam style. Bangnam? Bangnam style. No, no, no. Gangnam style. Sorry, Sai. <laughs> anyway, and the other one. The Montreal steak. Uh, I don't know. It's not a bad chip. The quality of the chips are good. Five... 
That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. It's like right smack in the middle where I would eat the bag, but I wouldn't buy the bag, and it definitely is not what it is advertised no. as. If they would have had the the steak flavor, I definitely would have put it way, way up higher. Myers, get back on your game, man. Yeah, Myers. We're on the hunt. We are always on the hunt for snacks, and we are going to find another chip that's better than you, and if you don't step up your game, and we're never eating us. your chips again. Yep. You're going to go out of business because we eat a lot of chips. I don't feel like going to go out of business. They I'm got other kidding. stuff. But... The, chip, the steak chip people. Oh, the steak chips are going to go out of business. Maybe. Yeah. We're going to put a steak through their heart. A steak chip, that is. All right. All right. Well, if uh, you would like to find more videos like these, please uh, check out the other videos that are available on the YouTube channel, the at the newly deads. Um, also, if you want to find our online store, which has links to our other um, online stuff, you can go check out. Um, Laura's currently showing you where to find www.thenewlydeads.com, not newlydeads.com, thenewlydeads.com, us, not the band, but if you'd like to also go visit the band, tell them we sent you. Um, yeah, but go check out the no, stuff. Don't um, tell them we sent. No, do. Let's make it, let's get, let's get together. Let's get the bands let's back together. Let's get the bands together. Um, but after the sale that's going to be happening, day after tomorrow, um, our next focus will be back onto the website. Although the Halloween sale may, I don't know if there's one this year, but there may be a Halloween sale coming up that we might be participating in. I don't know. But <laughs> if not, uh, she's singing Lizzo. Yeah, good for that, Lizzo. Yeah, no, that I was, was just copying that. what you were saying. No, you do that. Oh, you're like, that's Lizzo, right? You're gonna get us to monetize. <laughs> no, not be monetized. No. You're gonna copyright strike. That actually sticks. It's gonna be the hand drive again. I forgot how to do it though. I was Gangnam Style. Um, all right, so. For another episode of Sinister Snacks, I'm Joel. I'm the fun one. I'm Laura. We're the Newly Duds, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.